With the new fragments and build crafting changes that came with Lightfall, Solar Hunter has become more powerful than ever. I know Strand is all the rage right now, but its true potential lies behind the fragments that we can't unlock yet. Solar Hunter now has access to unlimited cure via Ember of Resolve, and it takes the Young Ahamkara Tripmine build to the next level. With the new mods and armor charge system, this build is more fluid than ever and is a non-stop flurry of abilities and DPS, now with a much needed level of survivability and endless healing. Today we'll break down how the new mod system works and get you set up with an incredible PvE build for grinding out Lightfall. My name is Gray. If you find today's video helpful, a like and sub is greatly appreciated. Now let's get into it. Let's start off with our exotic of choice, the Young Ahamkara Spine. This exotic greatly improves the blast radius of our tripmine grenades, increasing their damage by 14%. It also makes every instance of ability damage that we deal refund 33% of our grenade. Paired with the Knife Trick Melee and Gambler's Dodge, this allows us to have nearly unlimited tripmine grenades. After throwing your grenade, you instantly follow up with your Knife Trick Melee to refund your tripmine instantly. If you find yourself without your tripmine or your Knife Trick Melee, you simply refund your melee via Gambler's dodge and continue the loop. This forms a seamless DPS loop, but our subclass fragments and mods take this to a whole new level. The new fragment Ember of Resolve now grants us cure on every single grenade final blow. This heals us instantly for a huge chunk of health after throwing our grenade and defeating an enemy. What used to be the greatest weakness of Solar Hunter is now completely gone thanks to this new fragment. Taking a look at the subclass as a whole, our two aspects will be knock him down. This improves our blade barrage super and makes it so that while we're radiant, final blows with our equipped throwing knife will fully refund our melee. Our next aspect will be on your mark, where precision final blows grant you and nearby allies increased weapon handling and reload speed. This stacks up to three times, or after you dodge, you will also get max stacks. These two aspects together will give us five fragment slots, which we can really take advantage of. Our first fragment will be the brand new Ember of of resolve. This makes it so our solar grenade final blows cure you. This makes the build absolutely incredible and adds the one thing that it's been missing all this time. We now have access to nearly unlimited healing which greatly improves the survivability of this build and turns us into an unstoppable machine. Our next fragment will be Ember of Singeing. Your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets. Both our grenade and our melee as well as our weapons will be scorching targets which will help us get our class ability back as quick as possible possible. We then take Ember of Ashes, which makes it so we apply more Scorch stacks to targets. This will allow us to cause an ignition every time we hit a single enemy with both our Tripmine and our Knife Trick Melee. Fourth, we'll take Ember of Torches. This makes it so our powered melee attacks will make us radiant. This grants us a weapon damage bonus and makes it so we can refund our throwing knife instantly thanks to the knock em down aspect. Our final fragment will be Ember of Searing, where defeating Scorched targets grants melee energy and creates a Fire Sprite. Fire Sprites are part of the new system that replaced Elemental Wells, and you'll see these floating out in the battlefield, and when you pick them up, they will grant you a nice chunk of grenade energy. Now that we've covered the base of the build, it's time to dive into the new build crafting system. Many of our mods that we were used to have completely changed in Lightfall, but we now have more depth than ever. The new seasonal artifact also has tons of new ways to augment the cost of our armor mods, and you definitely want to take advantage of this. By taking Authorized Mods Solar and Authorized Mods Grenades, we can lower the cost of the majority of our mods in this build. Remember that these are now permanent passive bonuses to your character for the entire season. You'll also want to take Solar Surge, which grants us a free armor charge every time we pick up a Fire Sprite. Before we dive into the armor mods themselves, a friendly reminder to use the dim loadout link below to instantly set this up on your character and save it as a swappable loadout in game. Just know the entire system has changed and you're gonna wanna know how it works. We can now edit our entire build all in one place and view a snapshot of all of our currently equipped mods. You can screenshot the video now to have a perfect reference card for the build. We now have multiple combat mod slots on every piece of armor and elemental affinities no longer exist exist. Starting off with our helmet, we will take two copies of Ashes to Assets. This grants us super energy on every grenade final blow. Our final slot here will be Solar Siphon, which allows us to create orbs of power from solar weapon final blows. On our arms, we will take Bolstering Detonation, which grants class ability energy when dealing grenade damage, and Focusing Strike, which grants class ability energy when dealing melee damage. This combination feeds a ton of free ability energy into our DPS loop. We round this out with the new Firepower mod, which creates another orb of power from our grenade final blows as well. 
well. For our chest, we are taking two copies of Charged Up. Each copy increases the amount of armor charges we can hold by one, raising our cap from three armor charges up to five. You can definitely get away with running a single copy here if you want and use any other mod you'd like instead. Now our leg armor is where we finally get to put those armor charges to use. We will take Solar Weapon Surge, which grants us a 10% damage increase to all of our solar weapons as long as we currently have armor charges. This lasts for 10 seconds per stack of armor charge, so at base with 5 full charges, this buff will last for an insane 50 seconds and can be constantly refreshed by picking up more orbs. I also choose to take Font of Agility, which increases our mobility stat while we have armor charges as well, helping to reduce our dodge cooldown further. Insulation rounds things out, granting us class ability energy instantly on orb pickup. Finally, on our class item, we take Time Dilation, which will make our armor charges last for 15 seconds instead of 10. Now our armor charge buffs will last for a minute and 15 seconds, making them active nearly 100% of the time. We round this out with Reaper, which allows our weapon to make a guaranteed orb after we dodge, and Bomber, which grants grenade energy on dodge as well. I recommend aiming for 100 resilience and 100 discipline if possible to max out survivability and our grenade cooldown. If you're extremely comfortable with the rotation, you could aim to max out mobility instead of discipline, but I'd only recommend that to more advanced players. Wither Horde makes an excellent pairing for our kinetic slot to add even more damage over time during our ability rotation, and the Roar of the Bear is a perfect solar rocket to pair with this, especially if you have a role with Demolitionist. A primary weapon with incandescent is ideal as the scorch damage will synergize with all of our subclass fragments. The young Ahamkara Solar Hunter build has always been one of my favorite builds in the entire game and now it's back and stronger than ever. We no longer have to feel like a glass cannon as we have unlimited access to infinite healing via our grenades. This build is incredibly fun to pilot and I've been using it throughout the Lightfall campaign while I've been grinding out all of the new quests and missions and it performs extremely well against all sorts of content in the game. You may not use this against a raid boss, but for things like Nightfalls and Dungeons and the Legendary campaign, it's an incredibly fun build to pilot and now it's stronger than ever. Another quick reminder to use the dim loadout link below to set this up on your character and to save it as a loadout in game that you can instantly swap to at any time. If you guys enjoyed the video, a like and sub is massively appreciated and greatly helps me out. And we will have tons of new builds and weapon reviews coming your way so you don't want to miss out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.